Okay, we finished the last slide, the last slide, uh, looking at the execute of the call instruction. Um, this <clears throat> this was just prior to the rising edge at the end of the clock, at which time we would load hex 60 into the program counter, load 0xff into the stack pointer, and store the <clears throat> hex 43 into the scratch pad <clears throat> and address ff. And this slide shows just those things being done. Here's our program counter with hex 60. Um, that means we're ready to fetch the instruction at hex 60, which was the first instruction of the subroutine. Our stack pointer has been officially decremented to ff, and we've stored hex 43 at address ff in Scratchpad. Now we're going to continue. Uh, a couple steps down the program with the execute of the return function and this execute of the return function um, is the during the execute state prior to the rising edge at the end of the execute so if we look at the things that are going on um, our program counter had been pre-incremented to 64 um, and we're going to but and our stack pointer was at FF, which is where it had been set before. So we take that output value of the stack pointer, F, that, pardon me, the value of the stack pointer FF, it comes out of the stack pointer, passes through the scratch address select mux, and is applied as the address of scratch pad. Um, we are going to want to have the scratch pad write to zero and the scratch pad OE to one, opposite of what these two say here. Sorry about that mistake. Uh, and consequently, we'll, we will read this 43 from Scratchpad, and this is the actual popping operation. So this 43 will be on multibus, pass around through here, and come into the from stack, or in through the from stack input into the MUX, and be applied over here at the input of the program counter. Um, we would want to have the program counter load to be set to 1, and the program counter OE should be set to zero, although it does say one here. Excuse that mistake also. So we're setting up this 43 to be loaded back into the program counter, which is where we're going to execute upon return from the call. And um, uh, lastly, notice our stack pointer was set at FF, and that's what we used for Scratchpad. But we take that FF right down here, we pass it through this adder, add one to it, which makes it 0, 0. We pass that 0, 0 back through our stack pointer muck select, and that 0 comes in here and is ready to be loaded into the stack pointer because we have a 1 on SP load. And this slide shows what happens upon the rising edge at the end of the execute of the return uh, instruction, and we get the hex 43 loaded back into the program counter so we're ready to execute the final instru instruction of the program and pardon me, we're ready to fetch that instruction we've loaded that hex 00, zero in the stack pointer because we finished popping and and um, we finished popping and increment the stack pointer by one and there's not much else to worry about over here at the scratch pad so we're ready to just begin our next instruction um, which would be at address 43.